So Robinhood has just given a massive gift to Dogecoin and its holders. And this is what I'm going to talk about in this video. So famous online retail investing platform Robinhood has finally released its long-awaited crypto wallet for beta testing, and it will finally enable crypto users to withdraw cryptos from the platform. And as per the official announcement, the first 1,000 users that signed up to the waitlist for wallets are currently eligible to take part in beta testing. And wallets testers will be able to withdraw crypto valued up to $2,999 over a maximum of 10 total transactions daily. And while the current limit of testers is capped at 1,000, Robinhood plans to raise the cap to 10,000 by March. And this wallet program by Robinhood will be available for Dogecoin, Bitcoin, and Ethereum holders. And this is more positive news for Dogecoin because many of Robinhood's traders favor Dogecoin as their coin of choice. We know that Dogecoin accounted for almost 41% of Robinhood's total revenue in the second quarter of 2021 and about 19% in the third quarter. And the most important thing is that until now, those who trade crypto such as Bitcoin and Dogecoin via the Robinhood app have been limited to buying and selling. Robinhood essentially held the crypto on their behalf, giving users exposure to price movements but not really exposure to a decentralized blockchain ecosystem where people control their own finances. However, with the new functionality, wallet holders will be able to buy, say, Dogecoin on Robinhood and transfer it to another wallet, so they can swap assets on decentralized exchanges or engage in any number of decentralized finance applications. And for this reason, Robinhood has stated the new feature will fully connect Robinhood crypto holders to the greater blockchain ecosystem for the very first time. And this is very important for Dogecoin holders because it will provide them with the right ownership over their crypto. And this means that holders will be able to transfer and trade Dogecoin at their own will and without any hassle. And this is exactly what Elon Musk had also previously advised to Dogecoin. It is a fact that if Dogecoin holders are not getting true ownership of their crypto, then we can say that it is not their coin. And it is also against the decentralized nature of cryptos like Dogecoin. All in all, this new feature of Robinhood wallets is going to favor Dogecoin holders. And the best thing is that Robinhood is giving Dogecoin more importance than other cryptos. This is because we know that Dogecoin is not only the most traded crypto on Robinhood, it also has the lowest transaction fee. So this will not only increase the transactions and utility of Dogecoin, but it will also help Robinhood generate some revenue. And now there is another very huge update for Dogecoin and its holders, but I'll come to it later. Let's first see Dogecoin's price and some important technical indicators. So we are now seeing that Dogecoin has been trading on the downside during the last 24 hours. And it has again dropped around the 15 cents range and lost the momentum that it got from Tesla's announcement of Dogecoin's acceptance. Meanwhile, the technical indicators of Doge are also not looking good. Doge has fallen below its 20 day simple moving average and 20 day exponential moving average. So, the reason why Dogecoin has been trading down is that the overall crypto market is under immense pressure. And we can see here that almost all crypto have dropped down and are trading in the red, including Bitcoin and Ethereum. And as a result, the total crypto market cap has fallen to the $1.8 trillion level. However, the silver lining for Dogecoin is that its trading volume has increased during the last 24 hours. And this means that despite its sluggish movement, new investors are still investing in Doge. And I think that can be related to this latest news coming from Robinhood. And although this news hasn't shown its effects on its price, it will help Dogecoin over the long term. In addition, we are now seeing some positive updates for Dogecoin and the overall market. This means that the situation is not that worse for cryptos. So BitBase, a Spain-based startup, is set to open the first physical store for buying and selling cryptos in Portugal. The store will go operational next week, offering exchange services for seven cryptos including Dogecoin, Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Ethereum, and others. And these services will be provided in cash or via bank card in just a few steps. And the store will have several ATM-like machines for customers to perform their transactions with. So this is positive news and we are now seeing that Portugal has been adopting more and more crypto-friendly policies, and this will eventually inspire other countries to follow suit. And as per a recent report from Crypto.com, the global crypto users could reach 1 billion by the end of 2022.
and it appears that some developing nations are going to copy El Salvador's example. And a friendlier stance towards the crypto industry means that countries can no longer afford to ignore the growing push towards crypto by the public. And if we look back at 2021, the global crypto population increased by 178% in 2021, rising from 106 million in January to 295 million in December. And while 2021 kicked off with Tesla and MasterCard joining the party with crypto payments and adoption, Dogecoin and Bitcoin drove growth in the second part of the year. And seeing this, Crypto.com estimates that if we expect a similar rate of increase in 2022, we are on track to reach 1 billion crypto users by the end of 2022. So this is very positive for Dogecoin and other cryptos. And as per another update, the Senate in Australia has recently revealed a report about crypto regulations and laws in the country. And it appears that the Australian authorities are now finally going to comprehensively regulate the crypto sector. So the point is that this recent Senate report on crypto regulation is a pro-crypto statement of intent from the Australian government. And once cryptos are properly regulated in Australia, we will be seeing massive growth of the global crypto market, especially coins like Doge and Bitcoin. This is because we can see here that these cryptos are already owned by millions of Australians. And this upcoming regulation is going to encourage millions of others to start investing in Dogecoin, Bitcoin, and others. Now, as promised, let's talk about another massive update for Dogecoin that every Doge holder needs to know about. So Dogecoin co-founder Billy Marcus has recently taken to Twitter to announce that he has requested an unpaid vacation of three months to learn more about how to code some crypto stuff. And seeing this tweet from him, there are some speculations in the community that Billy Marcus may be planning to work on some new project for Dogecoin. And although Billy Marcus no longer deals with the Dogecoin project, from time to time we see him tweeting about Dogecoin. And even his followers on Twitter keep asking him if he plans to return and work on Dogecoin again. So although there is nothing official yet, we may see some new and important Dogecoin project announcements coming from Billy Marcus. And now let's come to Bitcoin for a minute. So as I said before, the overall crypto market is currently under immense pressure. And this is why we are now seeing that Bitcoin has been trading on the downside. And it has now dropped below the 40k price range in the last 24 hours, which was an unexpected move from Bitcoin. And as a result, major technical indicators for Bitcoin have also turned bearish. And another thing is that there is currently extreme fear sentiment in the market. We can see here that the Crypto Fear and Greed Index has dropped to 19 points, indicating that holders are in extreme fear at the moment. However, I think that this is not the end of Bitcoin, or we may not see it seeing another major crash from here. This is because many prominent crypto analysts are still very bullish on Bitcoin, and we are also seeing some bullish indicators and updates for it. For example, Bloomberg senior commodity strategist Mike McGlone thinks Bitcoin will dodge the risk off selling pressure. In fact, he has predicted that the price of Bitcoin will stage a comeback and blow past $100,000 as soon as this year. He believes that Bitcoin's price is building a good base here around 40 k and this is why he believes that it is going to accelerate towards the 100 k price level. Moreover, McGlone believes that Bitcoin is rapidly transforming from a speculative asset into a store of value, and this will differentiate its price action from the rest of the crypto market. Similarly, crypto analyst Benjamin Cowan also believes that Bitcoin can outperform other cryptos in 2022, most likely during the second half of the year. He believes that Bitcoin has the potential to register higher returns than other cryptos despite having recorded lower gains relative to altcoins in 2021. And he has stated that his prediction is supported by the fact that Bitcoin has previously outperformed other leading cryptos such as Ethereum as recently as 2019. So this is yet another major bullish prediction for Bitcoin, and I think that it can come true. And another crypto analyst pseudonymously known as Smart Contractor has stated that he is bullish on Bitcoin even if its price remains subdued. He has highlighted that Bitcoin is now forming a bullish reversal pattern known as the swing failure pattern. And a swing failure pattern occurs when the price fails to reach a new low in a downtrend or fails to hit a new high in an uptrend, signaling a trend reversal. So this means that Bitcoin has hit the bottom, and it is now going to move up sooner or later. 
And once Bitcoin moves up from here, it is highly likely that Dogecoin will follow suit. This is because Dogecoin's price correlation with Bitcoin has now improved. And it is clearly showing us that a bullish outlook for Bitcoin is equally bullish for Dogecoin.